you know, uh, after all these years, I've always voted on the in, on the Democratic ticket and Democratic Party. But then I have started to have an understanding because of Citizens United and uh, a, a relentless amount of money in politics that your vote doesn't count the way it used to. Uh, we need to change that. But every once in a while, you get a politician or politicians who speak to the needs of the people in a real and down-to-earth way. And recently, John Ossoff, who um, is a Georgia senator, I believe, and Congresswoman uh, Jasmine Crockett from Texas, who is my hero, spoke to the nefarious dealings of Louis DeJoy, the Trump appointee to Postmaster General. Um, if you want to see a video that really eviscerates an individual who is doing his level best to take away your rights and to put his finger on the scale when it comes to getting mail-in ballots to the mail system as a whole has been under siege and it's the slowest that it's ever been in its 240-year history in modern time. The only time this, the Postal Service has been uh, this slow is during uh, a wartime situation or a massive event uh, like a, a, a massive uh, weather event or something out of the uh, uh, usual. Uh, in order to get rid of a postmaster, you have to have a number of people that vote him out, and that's what they call the postal board of governors. Apparently, uh, Mr. Biden uh, in 21 appointed three Biden appointees to the board so that they could have a, um, a balance or actually uh, be able to have enough people to vote out Mr. DeJoy and replace him with a, a capable person that's interested in running the system properly. So far, that hasn't happened. But if you want to see some very important uh, work regarding dealing and questioning this uh, individual in Louis DeJoy, you will want to see this hearing with John Ossoff and also with Jasmine Crockett discussing what this individual has done to destroy the Postal Service. And you as American citizens, all of us as American citizens, should be outraged about it. And of course, your legacy media has not covered it as much as they should. Mr. DeJoy, core job of the Postal Service is to deliver mail and packages on time, correct? Yes, sir. Are mail and packages being delivered on time in Georgia today? No, sir. Why not? We have had uh, significant issues in terms of transitioning from 11 plants in the Atlanta area into three. Excuse me, could, could you speak into the microphone, yeah. please? We, we've, we've taken on a big, tra Atlanta has been one of our worst, uh, the Georgia area has been one of our worst served areas over the last 10 years, uh, mostly because we had uh, t 10, 12 different locations around the Atlanta area. Mr. Drew, I don't want to talk about the last 10 years, I want to talk about the last three months. All right, well, do, you, do you know, since you made this shift to the new Palmetto facility, mm -hmm. What percent of outbound first-class mail was delivered on time in Atlanta? It's, it's a significantly lower number. Yeah, 66 percent. Do you know what share of inbound mail, first-class mail, is delivered on time? It's probably all a day late. So. Take, a, take a guess how much of it's on time. 35 percent? You're, you're pretty much there. 36 percent. 36 percent of the mail is being delivered on time to my constituents. What is the specific nature of the operational failure? Uh, well, the specific nature of the operate, we had to move 2,000 people from all these different plants into one location. We have strict requirements as to when they move. It's a big facility that we opened up. We have inbound transportation issues. Uh, 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 yeah, but you knew it was gonna be hard and complicated, right? 
Yeah, and we tried to phase it in over se- several over several months, which we did. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna fix it. Uh, you're absolutely when? right. When is it gonna be fixed? I, I, you will start seeing service improve. Over, you should see it start now, and I think we'll get to where we need to be in about 60 days. Do you think that one of your private sector competitors would have rolled out yeah, I a think new they excuse, Hold on a second, Mr. Mm-hmm. Joy. Mm-hmm. A new system that would reduce on-time delivery to 36% and then say it's going to take months to fix it? Months? Private businesses and ta- taking on operations of this nature with the, with the resources that, that we have do, in fact, have these types of problems. You, okay. you, don't, have, you don't have months to fix 36% of the mail being delivered on time. Yes. I've got constituents right. with prescriptions that aren't being delivered. I've got constituents who can't pay their rent and their mortgages. I've got businesses who aren't able to ship products or receive supplies. I wrote you on March 14th. Did you get my letter? Uh, my office probably, my office got well, I didn't write your office, I wrote you. Did you receive my letter? I have not read your letter. You haven't read my letter. I tried to speak to you Friday or, or, or yesterday. You haven't read my letter. I have. The mail's I, not on time in Georgia. I'm a member of the committee with ju- of jurisdiction. You haven't read my letter. Well, that explains why I haven't received well, a response to my letter. March 14th, I wrote you with two specific questions. What update can you provide regarding the aforementioned reported issues at the Atlanta Regional Processing and Distribution Center in Palmetto, question one. Question two, how is USPS currently communicating with customers in the metro Atlanta area reporting delayed and lost packages? You haven't read the letter? So, so letters come in, uh, people put, they put stuff to, to, together to answer okay. it and get you. you let, me, let me just give you yeah. uh, just a friendly piece of advice. You should, you should personally read letters mm-hmm from members of the U.S. Senate Committee that funds and oversees your operations, particularly where you are failing abysmally to fulfill your core mission Mm -hmm. in my state. And let me be clear, I think postal workers are out there every single day working their hearts out to deliver the mail on time. But if they don't have the infrastructure and the management competence overhead them to make a transition like this without drastically impairing the core function of the Postal Service, Everyone in my state is losing. You, the amount of distress this is causing my constituents in massive is massive. And I want to know what you are going to do, what specific steps you are going to take to fix this within two weeks. So we have engaged over 50 different management executives on, on site. We've, we're, 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 we're finishing up our staffing at, all the, at the remaining three locations. We are looking at our truck schedules, revamping our truck schedules. Uh, we are stabilizing the operation in terms of uh, uh, our, our machinery that's, that's, that we have deployed there. We are working better on our, we have special teams down on site on, working on our docks, and we're working the rest of the transportation uh, uh, aspects of this that are causing a significant amount of problems. And the two plants where we did a lot of transfers with, by uh, within the next uh, 10 days, we should have them fully staffed. Uh, we had uh, uh, issues in terms of those transfers. So the team is working, yeah. working very hard. And I can assure you that in the long, in the long run, right, that you will have the, uh, probably the best service in the we, country. No, the, the long run is, is too long. You've got weeks, when, not when months. I, you've got say, weeks, not months well, to fix this. And if you don't fix it, 36% on-time delivery, I don't think you're fit for this job. I yield okay. to Senator Butler. And my understanding is, is that the FBI has had him under investigation and he may be currently under investigation because, again, this is a guy who runs XPO Logistics and you've seen his trucks all over. He's had some longstanding relationship providing as a um, third party carrier for, for the Postal Service. The long and the short of people like Louis DeJoy and many other people that are in business and politics, they want to privatize everything. And they want to privatize it, not to your benefit, but to their own benefit so they can make money and the companies that they're involved with make money. And you'll pay two to three times what you pay for services that are supposed to be at at a low cost that's beneficial to small businesses, to people that work from home, the people that are mailing packages 
uh, private citizens. The Postal Service has a lot of people that are working very hard to do the right thing. And uh, Mr. DeJoy is doing his level best to destroy it. Let us know what you think down below. Hello, hello, hello. I would greatly appreciate it if you can actually support my little small business called Latrice Limited. It is on latricelimited.com. So as you can see right here, I actually sell candles and a wide variety of other items as well. This is my big forehead, okay? Um, but I actually want to show you just a couple of different items that I do sell. Um, this is actually going to be a part of my soap collection that I have. As you can see, I have a variety of different soaps on here. I actually have two pages worth of soaps and um, everything is handmade okay natural clean ingredients as well um, you can also see right here these are my candles all right they're all handmade everything vanilla sweet roses uh, sage and vanilla vanilla and sweet roses are actually my favorite scents that i do have i also have a few other items on here I'm actually going to go and show you all the bath bombs that I do have. As you all can see, there's eucalyptus and sage, uh, sweet pea harmony, and so many more. And then we're just going to finish off on the gift sets that I have. There's a variety of them from like the big ones like this for 45. And then you have some of the smaller ones. And you have these itty bitty ones down here that includes essential oil blends. Definitely shop with your girl definitely help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it this is like my little baby over here okay <laughs> um i would greatly appreciate it and enjoy it